Yolk sac tumors, also called endodermal sinus tumors, are germ cell tumors that can be seen in both sexes. In this video, I'll give you a visual mnemonic to help you remember this disease and its various findings. Ugh, parenting is so hard. It's mealtime, and I've been trying to feed my baby these egg yolks. Yeah, see those egg yolks on that spoon? These egg yolks are here to help anchor you to the scene on yolk sac tumors. Get it? Egg yolk for yolk sac tumors? Yolk sac tumors, or endodermal sinus tumors, are derived from germ cells that differentiate into yolk sac tissue. And by the way, I'm feeding my baby these egg yolks, which should help you remember that this is a tumor that occurs in young children. Endodermal sinus tumors are actually the most common tumor in male infants, but since they can occur in both sexes, you should just remember them as tumors of young children. Next, notice the two egg yolks in my bowl. I haven't broken these up yet. Weirdly, these two egg yolks right next to each other kind of remind me of gonads. Appetizing, right? These gonad-like egg yolks should remind you of where yolk sac tumors are typically found, in the gonads. This makes sense because they are germ cell tumors. And where are the germ cells located? That's right, the gonads. In addition to these whole egg yolks, I've already broken up a few others in the bowl. Of course I have to break these up before feeding them to my baby. What kind of parent do you think I am? Anyway, these egg yolks now have this really crumbly texture, kind of like that from a boiled egg. Anyway, this crumbly texture reminds me of the yellow friable appearance of yolk sac tumors on gross pathology. You know, since friable refers to something that's easily crumbled. A side note is that these tumors are often hemorrhagic on gross pathology. This should be obvious, since I mentioned that these tumors are aggressive. And I'm definitely aggressively feeding my child right now. Anyway, after they invade blood vessels, you can imagine how these tumors might be grossly hemorrhagic. I thought this was pretty obvious, since a lot of tumors invade nearby blood vessels, so I didn't bother making a symbol for this one. Next, take a look at these shells that I peeled earlier. With egg yolks come eggshells, right? Coincidentally, the shells here remind me of the finding of Schiller Duval bodies, or Shell or Duval bodies. Shell for Schiller, get it? Schiller Duval bodies are a classic finding on biopsy of yolk sac tumors, and this is definitely a buzzword you should remember on test day. But what is a Schiller Duval body? Well, take a look at the whisk inside one of those shells. I used this whisk earlier to break up the egg yolks. But if you look closely, you'll notice how this picture kind of looks like a glomerulus. You know, the red whisk for the tuft of blood vessels and the shell for the capsule. And what do you know, a Schiller Duval body describes just this, an arrangement of blood vessels and tumor cells that resembles a glomerulus. While these glomeruli like Schiller Duval bodies are found in only 50% of endodermal sinus tumors, their unique appearance makes them high yield on exam day. That being said, instead of saying Schiller Duval in question stems, questions will often describe structures that resemble glomeruli from gonadal biopsies. Just know that they are talking about Schiller Duval bodies and you'll be good to go on test day. But it looks like my baby is none too interested in these egg yolks. Just look at him there, playing with those alphabet letters above his head. Bad. Wait, alphabet? Doesn't the word alphabet kind of sound like the letters AFP? That's right, it's the AFP alphabet. Some of you may have figured this out already, but these high-hanging AFP letters are here to help you remember that AFP levels are elevated in patients with yolk sac tumors. AFP, also called alpha-fetoprotein, is synthesized by cells of the yolk sac. So, it should make sense that a tumor of the yolk sac would cause an elevation of AFP. Alright, now that's all for yolk sac tumors. Let's do a quick recap. Yolk sac tumors are aggressive germ cell tumors that often arise in young children. On gross pathology, these tumors have a yellow, friable appearance, and hemorrhage is common. Under the microscope, Schiller Duval bodies resembling glomeruli may be seen, a finding that is pathognomonic for yolk sac tumors. Labs will reveal an elevated level of AFP as AFP is secreted by yolk sac cells. And now we're actually done with yolk sac tumors. So eat up the rest of your egg yolk and let's get out of here. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also support our team by visiting pixarize.com, where you'll find exclusive videos and interactive review images. If you like what we're doing, share with your friends on social media, and we'll keep making great content like this. We'll see you next time.